Hey, what's up, guys? The Electronic Helper 3 here, and today what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to get Siri on any iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad running any firmware, okay? So, anything. You want any iDevice at all running any firmware, you can get Siri on, okay? So, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Uh, of course, you need to be jailbroken and head into Cydia right now. And wait for Cydia to load up, of course, because it takes a while. So just some info about this. It's completely legal because it's not using the Siri database. And it works, unlike um, Spire and H1 Siri. Okay? And all that stuff that doesn't work and is completely fake. So anyway, go into Manage Sources, hit Edit, then hit Add. And you're going to add a source that you won't have unless you have this uh, application because it's only for this application. So type in iSoft JSC.com. I'll also have it in the description for you guys. And so if you don't get it here, you can just look in the description. It's iSoft JSC.com. Okay, then you would add it. Um, and this is what it looks like. That one right over here, Sarah Official Repo, and the icon is the Siri icon. So basically, just hit Sarah Official Repo. Okay. Um, I'll talk about these two lower ones later in the video, but the first one that you want to get right now is just the top one, Sarah, and with the build. But when you probably see this, uh, it'll probably be changed, higher Sarah number, different build. But this is what it is for now, so just go ahead and install it. Of course, I already have it. And, yeah. And as you can see also, um, right under the author, uh, it says it has French support. So, that's pretty cool. And it says it's an open virtual assistant app for uh, older device support from iPhone original to iPhone 4. So, as you can see, uh, it can be any device. Okay, so once that's installed, it'll bring up an application that looks a little like that. Okay. And now, let's just open it. And actually, I'm going to delete from multitasking, so I'll show you what it does from the start. And let's go. So I'll show you some of the utilities that you can use. Hey, Caleb. Can I help you? Okay, so first, that's, as you can see, it's using my name. This is how you change your name. Uh, basically, you just hit this wrench in the very bottom right corner there. Okay, and you can change your name. You can change relationships. So you can set, um, I'll use myself as my brother. You just hit, I'll set, I've set special contact for brother. So if I said call my brother or something, then uh, it would just, it would call me, but you can set that for your parents, uh, siblings, your home, all that stuff. Uh, don't change the RSS URL or else it probably won't work. Sarah Voice, Enhance Voice, Show Tools, Enhance SR. Uh, you can change those if you want, and you can set uh, your location, and you can decide if you want it in English or French. Okay, and of course, you can donate. Uh, I have, so guys, please donate. This is great. Uh, anyway, in the upper left corner, there's a help button. If you don't know how to use it or what to do with it, uh, it'll bring you to a page in Safari where you can use it. So, let's test it out. I'm lost. I'm lost. Don't worry, I will tell you where you are. And so it'll bring up this little thing here. And you can see your current position. And you can zoom out, zoom in uh, to see where you are. And so that's pretty cool. If you really don't know where you are, this can help you out. Also, there's this other feature that you see here right above the wrench. And that's the keyboard. If Siri doesn't understand something, because it's not like real uh, English, might be a YouTube video or username, which I'm going to show you right here, you can type it in. If it, or, yeah, if it doesn't recognize you, all that. So now just, so I'll search a YouTube video. So I say, search the electronic 
Helper three, that's me, uh, on YouTube. Make sure you put in the search and on YouTube part, okay? And then you hit okay. And so it's just like you said it. Um, once this loads, here you go. Searching for the electronic helper three on YouTube. Okay, there you go. It comes up, and you can see all my videos that I've done here. Um, I'll just go to uh, this Triple Town video. Uh, pretty new, so go check that out, guys. Um, also check out my other uh, Triple Town view. Uh, thanks for a lot of views on that, too. So, anyway. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, uh, this works fine for YouTube videos, okay? And basically, you can just go back to Sarah for multitasking. Okay, let's say I wanted to find some place to eat, so I tell Sarah. Find me a restaurant nearby. Please wait. I'm searching for here restaurant near home near you. Okay, sometimes it'll be a little off, but it'll still work, I think. Yeah, so here are a bunch of restaurants uh, near me, and they really are near me, and they, and so this really uh, works really well. Okay, so since I already set my contact to be as my brother, like I'll be my brother, I'll say call my brother, and it should work here. Call my brother. Please wait. I'm calling brother for you. Okay. And so it said I have no messages because uh, I don't. But basically it just called for me, which is pretty cool. And all that. And so, Siri is really awesome. I'll show you, let's say, one more feature here. Mm. Tell me the time in Japan. Oops. What is the time in Japan? Okay, so, what is the time in Japan? I've had it before. So, why don't you want to? I don't know. What was that? Uh, what that was, but I'll just show you the keyboard function again. Uh, what is the time in Japan? And it should work. Sometimes it just gives you weird answers, but uh, most of the time it's really good and it works. Nine hours, 52 minutes, and 51 seconds on JT Saturday, February 25th, 2012. So as you can see, it works just like Siri. I'll show you one more thing. Siri, what's the weather for tomorrow? Sorry, I said Siri, but it pretty much is like Siri, so I don't know if it'll respond to that. Let's see. And there Weather you go. forecast for Los Angeles, California. So it gives me that uh, right straight off. Not not exactly in the Apple format, but it definitely gives me what I need. And it even responded to Siri, which is kind of funny. If you ask it to, if you ask the name for it, though, it'll say Sarah. But anyway, this is only uh, one of the many or few of the many functions that Sarah can have to help you. On your iDevice, you can send text messages, check emails, play music, all that good stuff. And for any iDevice, any firmware, and this is just great. So just add the source and you should get it. And so uh, this is such a great video to make. Um, so, because uh, this is just really awesome. So this is how to get uh, Siri on your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. And for free, legal, and working. Thanks, guys. See you next time.